Let's all go to the lobby this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 168, a show in which the writers of InsertPointToBegin.com get together to talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F. J. Tom. Before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Vacation Chachi, let's start with you. First off, Vacation Chachi has to say <laughs> that uh, typically I would be questioning your intro. Okay. But it's Vacation Chachi, <laughs> so I don't care. Um, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That's it. I played okay. a little bit of Call of Duty. Um, I'm probably about a quarter of the way through the story mode on that. Um, and they have greatly improved the Call of Duty story mode. Wow. It's greatly improved. It is incredible at this point. Could it be and, what we're going to get to later? Maybe. What's that? Uh, we'll get to it later. Okay. <laughs> you want me to stop with this? No, go ahead. Keep okay. going. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I want to beat Assassin's Creed before I really get into Call of Duty. Because once, once I get deep into Call of Duty, we all know I'm not coming back. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> yep. I want to... No going back. Come on, we, we know how I am. <laughs> once I start playing a new uh, Call of Duty, all other games are pretty much done. Um, did, so did you play I, any multiplayer yet? I, I played one match, mm-hmm. um, so I can't really judge on that. Okay. Um, but, uh, I, I mean, the one match was good. It was just like, uh, Black Ops 2, um, just a different map so far. And it was, it was a pretty nice sized map. So we'll see. But, okay. uh, we will, uh, we will see how that goes later on. All right. But that's it. Cool. All right. Uh, Sorg, let's go to you. Cause you're ready. what did you achieve this week? Ready, Rip? Um... Hold on. Maybe not ready. <laughs> nope. Um, yes, this week I played. Back to you, Bobby. <laughs> very good. Very I'm nice game. Vacation Chachi approved. <laughs> <laughs> that was right. funny. Now he's ready. He's back with us. He, he was off. Oh, no, he left again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our special guest this week, somebody who spent 24 hours with me this weekend for Extra Life. DJ Lunchbox, how you doing? What did you hey. do this week? Hi, 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 guys. Um, I have stolen hundreds of men with balloons, um, and also a handful of animals and one jeep. <laughs> All right. Uh, metal. I've been playing a lot of Metal Gear Solid Five. That's what we figured. <laughs> it's it's so depressing, but there is nothing like uh, stealing a sheep with a balloon. At one sheep, oh. I punched uh, into unconsciousness with my hands. And then I attached a balloon to it and watched it go. Boom. Oh, we didn't have a discussion about that game at some point, sir. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wonderful wow. and really depressing. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I've I've heard about that, and I just purchased that game. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get into it. Um, since since Riz is off uh, for now, um, I achieved a personal best. Of the the entire extra life twenty four hour thing, I played fifty games in twenty four hours. I'm going to read the list of all my games I played, starting now. Fallout Shelter, Super Mario Brothers three, Mega Man three, Little Nemo Dream Master, Tiny Toon Adventures, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, Tetris, Bat- Batman, uh, the NES Batman, Simon's Quest, Tecmo Tag Team Wrestling, RC Pro Am, Casino Kid, Thor Jetman, Cocktails. Uh, Mega Man 2, Battletoads, Mario Kart, Mario Sunshine, 18 Wheeler Pro American Trucker, Tony Hawk 3, Virtual Fighter 4, Legends of Wrestling, Mortal Kombat 10, Diablo 3, Pinball FX, WWE 2K15, uh, Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, Dear God, uh, Batman, Arkham Knight, Assassin's Creed Unity, uh, Rayman Legends, Madden 15, Lords of the Fallen, Destiny, Hashtag IDARB, which I lost 400 to 3. Uh, which was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Numa, I forgot about Smite, <laughs> uh, Street Fighter IV, Lucha Libre, SSX, Bert, or Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Super Meat Boy, Burnout Paradise, Bioshock Infinite, Red Dead Redemption, 
Skyrim, Pac-Man Championship Edition, Sunset Overdrive, Grand Theft Auto V, and Titanfall. Those were all the games I played this weekend during our Extra Life thing. I played mostly um, Diablo 3, uh, Mega Man 2, and Bioshock Infinite. Uh, funny story about Bioshock Infinite, my dad appeared behind me in the window at 4 a.m. and scared <laughs> the living crap out of me. True story. Don't play Bioshock Infinite uh, when it's very, very late. Why and was your you're... dad up at 4 a.m.? He was checking to see if I was still awake. Oh, okay. And he scared the crap out of me. Wait, why did he go outside to do that? He didn't, no, he, he, he was in back behind me. And appeared in the window because I could see because the light oh. in the window it was the reflection. Okay, okay, I got you. My dad, and if you've met my dad, <laughs> the beard said, and all. You said was, that he appeared in the window, and it, yeah, I, I just thought that that meant that your dad had snuck outside he or was have. already outside. He should have. It was the same effect <laughs> because he appeared like a ghost. <laughs> I was like, it was it was it was fun. It, we had a great time playing video games for the kids this weekend. Um. I, our oh, team, our dad is kind of a funny <laughs> dick. Our team, our team raised like over six hundred bucks, I think. Will nice. That, that sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. Good job, um, guys. Offline so, donations are tallied. Yep. Yep. And and we had a great time doing it. And if you still want to donate, uh, our team is Uncharted for Drake's donations. You can donate offline or online uh, at extralife.org. And um, I'm going to be using my stretch tw- tw- bleh, my Twitch stream more often. So check me out there, uh, twitch.tv slash Grandmaster60. Um, Riz, now that you're back, what would you achieve this week? By the way, that is still one of the best names you've ever made. Thank you. Thank you. Um, it, was, it was a high school thing with the so Grandmaster. Like, like Chachi probably mentioned, uh, he bought – well, we, we both bought uh, Call of Duty. Well, he probably mentioned he, he did mention it. I did mention it. Riz stopped talking. Riz, he, his, his headphones went out again. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened Great. before. Great start. Bro. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, Bobby, was that was that coverage of the uh, the extra life thing all that were? I got um, a list. I learned a lot. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I have a whole list of things, and maybe this list is long enough to fill the time between now and when Riz returns. <laughs> um, oh, what the hell? Oh, he's back. Oh, Riz I'm is back. back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> back. Yeah, I'm back. Hi, Riz. Hi. Am I back, back now? Are you yeah, back? Yeah, you're back. I'm back now, right? Riz okay. is I'm back. back. Oh, God. Lunchbox, um, let, let Riz finish, and then you can. Okay. No, I was just yeah. going to say Fallout 4, guys. That's yeah, all. that's what we figured. He's playing it right now as we're doing this podcast. No, actually, I turned it off. I'm, okay. I'm, a, I'm a good podcaster. I turn off my video games. It's on pause. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. And also, I played a little bit of uh, the story mode Minecraft. It's oh, coming yeah. out. You played that actually coming you. out in uh, the next 30 minutes. Nice. You played that during game. our uh, 24-hour game of too. Riz. Mm-hmm. Riz. Chachi. I have to ask you a question. Yes. Did you play story mode Call of Duty yet? No. Okay. Why Never would I? Mind that. Why would I do that? Because it's incredible. Why okay. would I play story mode? Because it's incredible. Okay. Anyhow, we're fine. If you haven't played it. I'm telling you to play it. We'll get to that later. Right. It might be incredible a little bit later on. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bobby, you know what? Once it, again. It is now time. No, no, no. no Lunchbox has this thing. Oh, wait. Lunchbox has a thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, vacation Chachi forgot. I forgot. Yeah, I do. Vacation Chachi. Come on. Go ahead, Lunchbox. So uh, I discovered that when you're uh, playing video games for 24 hours, you learn a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. And uh, where the hell did I put that list? Here we go. Okay, so uh, number one, uh, Metal Gear Solid is soul-crushingly depressing when played at 2 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Uh, Number two, Wii Boxing is incredible at 5 o'clock in the morning. (laughs) Yeah. Number number three, I've played the beginning of Dragon Age Inquisitions more times than I can count. Mm -hmm. Number four, there are two kinds of people who play Minecraft. One, people who make lovely houses, my girlfriend. And number two, people who make strange abstract art installations, me. 
Yeah. <laughs> I spent, I think, a full hour making a giant floating diamond structure that's also oh. made out of gold. Um, staying up for 24 hours is way more brutal than it was in college. I was an absolute mess when I went to bed. Um, it took me two days to recover. I'm still recovering. What is that about? <laughs> How wrecked am I? Uh, there's something magical about playing video games for hours on end when that is ex the exact thing, exact thing you're supposed to be doing. Um, I, I, I hadn't felt that level of video game freedom in ages. It was wonderful. And uh, finally, and this is all in caps, I love Hearthstone. <laughs> I, I, I was like, well, maybe I'll play a little Hearthstone. We'll just see what happens. And then I became obsessed, and now I can't stop playing it. And I played at work in the bathroom sometimes. Whoa. That's a little personal. But <laughs> Where else am I supposed to play it, Bobby? I don't know. I don't know. I can't I don't play know. it at my <laughs> desk. They don't like that. <laughs> that, that is your problem. Bunch today, of today. No, I mean, I'm, that's this. That might get me in trouble. I'm not going to say that. All right. Uh, <laughs> that's that's what I learned. <laughs> Lunchbox. Yes. Uh, to respond, uh, any we we game is incredible at 2 a.m. or 5 a.m. or 4 a.m. Mm -hmm. um, every game is depressing at 2 a.m. If, <laughs> if it's not a Wii game. Uh, I am also a type 2 Minecrafter. Mm -hmm. As uh, the last time I played Minecraft, I was still in the middle of building uh, a giant bridge across the entire map. Nice. <laughs> I, it, it's, cur it's currently in the shape of an X. And it goes from corner to corner of the map. <laughs> wow. Um, and last Chachi plays, I slept from 14 to 17 hours wow. <laughs> to recover. So I, will, I, I made the mistake of going to bed for like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then getting up and then going to bed at my almost normal time. I, 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 went to, I slept for two and a half hours because I had to go run a D&D &D group. And oh. that was interesting. I don't remember what happened to anyone. I think I gave them all crab tanks in three levels. It... Crab tanks. Crab tanks. Congratulations, you all caught cholera. <laughs> and you're you, level you eight. Died Who cares? Day. I'm going to sleep under the table. Yep. When did this Congratulations. Day? You guys are now level 12, but you just died of dysentery on the when Oregon Trail. Be, when did this become Oregon Trail? <laughs> Will, that's my son's Halloween candy. It's my <laughs> horde of a dragon. Oh, boy. All right, Chachi, do you want me to take it video game things from around the net? Bob, it is now time for Bobby to take us around the net. All yeah. right, video game theme things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. All right, first up, we have... Uh, Chachi does it better. It's a, it's a, yeah, I know he does. I, I don't do it justice. Um, vacation Chachi says it's all right. <laughs> vacation Chachi gave me the keys to his wonderful uh, ride that is internet game or the video game theme things from around the internet. And this week I took it into Fallout. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, first up, uh, we have Conan O'Brien, uh, or the clueless gamer as he's known. Um, he took on Fallout for him in his own way. Um, him and, and uh, Drew Blair were uh, dressed as uh, vault dwellers. Mm -hmm. um, and awesome, awesome co costumes. They had a great cold opening to the show. Um, and Conan basically just wanted to find a woman, uh, <laughs> which he always does in video games. Um, it's really cool and, and really fun to watch. Uh, I suggest you watch it. I have a question before yeah. I move on. Okay. How many video games does Conan O'Brien get to play under the moniker Clueless Gamer? Oh, he's still very clueless. <laughs> he's before still he very clueless. I, I don't buy it, but okay. <laughs> he, he, the first thing he did in Fallout when he left the vault was jump off a cliff, if that tells you anything. <laughs> honestly, honestly, first, day, first way I died. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> just uh, falling off the edge and just feeling, oh, there it goes. Um, Vacation Chachi says, is it okay. All right, is next, it right? Up, next up, uh, the, the, you know how Fallout is a huge game. Mm -hmm. um, Cogs Codsworth, your uh, robot butler. Good. You have this can, in the. You can, have this can, in here. He can say almost a thousand names. Mm -hmm. Um, some of which are very interesting. Um, I, I know, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, uh, boobies. Boobies. <laughs> um, also, also, 
there's so many other ones, but only two names from the show Cheers, as we learned. Um, but uh, also, also, uh, I have the list right here, by the way. Oh, go ahead, read some. Uh, it is 925 <laughs> word names, wow. uh, as we mentioned, uh, boobies. <laughs> there is also nipples. <laughs> why would uh, they allow that? I, I know exactly why they allowed it. Yeah, they allowed it because they knew people would try oh, it yeah. and yes. they wanted to surprise them. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. They they wanted to play along. They're like, all right, so we know we know our gamers mm-hmm. are gonna be like, oh, oh yeah. let's make let's make the butler say nipples. <laughs> and, then, and then the company's just like, you know what? Just this once just do it. We should make the butler be able to say nipples. Sex. You, it's a video game company. You know damn well they're mm-hmm. sitting in the planning meeting and they're like, all right, so we're going to make this butler be able to say these people's names. Now, we know right off the bat mm-hmm. that people are going to try all of these words. And then can there's I, this I, one guy sitting in the back, not really paying attention, just reading his notes from another meeting. And he's just like, you know what? Do it. <laughs> it was vacation, that guy. <laughs> it was. It was that guy. <laughs> That guy probably got a raise, too. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> anyways, there were more. Uh, let's see. There's sex. Sexy. Snake. Snake. Um, I believe there's – again, you can – there's a whole list of – Yeah, there's tons of them. whole oh. bunch of stuff. Can he, can he say John Cena? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Let me try that. <laughs> no. But there is a video of that. Stop John Cena. <laughs> All right. Mr. John, though. And finally, um, there's a fu- really cool uh, yeah, Fallout print. F U S. There's a really cool uh, Fallout print that I saw on Etsy, and um, the artist's name is Lot Stark. Um, it really caught my eye. If you want, if you want to check it out, it's fifteen dollars on their their uh, Etsy store. Um, there's a ton of other Fallout 4 stuff on there, too, um, and support your gamers that are making creative stuff, really cool stuff out there. And um, you can find that on uh, internet, uh, your video game themed things around the internet this week. Uh, I put the link in the chat for, for that store. All right, back to me, Bobby. <laughs> back to you, Bobby. <laughs> wow, they do have Bankman in here, too. All right. Our first story this week uh, on things you should be made aware of. Nintendo fans, mark your calendars. <laughs> the first Nintendo Direct has been announced uh, uh, for November 12th uh, at 5 o'clock, 2, 2 o'clock Pacific time, 5 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, this is the first Nintendo Direct since the passing of Satoru Iwata. Um, not much is known about what Inten- Nintendo plans to announce for the event or who will be leading the Nintendo Direct. Um, but what do you guys think Nintendo is going to uh, announce or do you think who do you think is going to lead it? Uh, do you think know, Luigi's going to take the reins? I know what they're not going to announce. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Is it Zelda? Is it Zelda? It is Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Hey, but at least they're, they're hopping back and, you know, people were, exp- were like, anticipating the, a new Nintendo Direct for a long time now since since Iwata passed away. It'll so be Reggie. haven't had one. It'll probably I'm be thinking, Reggie. Yeah, I'm thinking Reggie, Reggie too. They'll probably somehow get the new president in there as well. So Liam Odom will probably pop in there too. Mm-hmm. Maybe show off some Star Fox again. Which is also uh, delayed, by the way. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. We've been really hard on Konami a lot. No, uh, this, it. Time out. This, time out. Okay. No. See, you went and used that word we. Oh, I as if, have as if, as if it's been a group effort. Well, vacation, we have been. We've been va- vacation. We, chachi is not hard on anyone. Vacation Chachi is not Chachi, right? Other no, than it, vacation Chachi, we've been kind of hard on on Konami lately. But this is a really wonderful thing they're doing. Um, James Young, a 25 year old Metal Gear Solid fan, lost his leg and an arm to a train accident. Uh, Konami Entertainment Europe found out about this, and they're partnering with Sophie D. Oliveira Barda, who is the founder of Alternative Limb, the Alternative Limb Project which specializes in making stylized artificial limbs for those who have had accidents or have been wounded. Uh, Konami and Young realize, realize they have something in common when the Phantom Pain's main char- with the Phantom Pain's main character, Big Boss, who also has a prosthetic limb. Uh, Konami has dubbed the limb-building collaboration the Phantom Limb Project, 
and will maintain a blog charting the progress in creating the Metal Gear Solid influenced set of limbs for Young, and a documentary following his, the production is also in the works. Um, so kudos to them. It's a really cool thing they're doing for that guy. Um, it just shows that, that they, they still do care about people and, you know, and they're not giving this guy a party for going away <laughs> for his arms and legs. For going on a big vac- <laughs> – no, 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 no. His arms and legs just went on, Yes, they went on – they went on vacation. They get a party. Yeah. All right. In other news, uh, Microsoft listed the first grouping of games that will be available as backwards compatible titles. And it's very, how you say, underwhelming. Uh, most of the titles are Xbox Live Arcade titles. And while some of the titles are pretty cool, none of the top five most wanted games were rated in the in their list that they, they, they or the poll that they asked about. Uh, none of them are in the, in the in the first wave here, um, so you have to wait for such favorites as Red Dead Redemption, Skyrim, and all the other Grand Theft Auto games and all that stuff. Um, Microsoft said that more titles will be added in December, such as Halo Reach, and Bioshock and Bioshock Infinite. Uh, they'll be added in December next month. Um, but some of the games that have been added this month include Borderlands, Assassin's Creed, uh, uh, Assassin's Creed 2, Mass Effect. Dirt 3, which was recently a Games for Gold freebie, um, Dirt Showdown, all of the Gears of War games, South Park, The Stick of Truth, and many more. The full list is available somewhere on the internet. Now, the, the, Mass, <laughs> the Mass Effect one, that, yeah. that intrigues me. That's the first Mass Effect. Just the first one? Yes, just the first one. Okay. Yeah, that, the, and two and three are not available yet. Because I know on PlayStation uh, Now, mm-hmm. they have they actually have Mass Effect yeah. 2. Available. Oh, not one. Which is not one. <laughs> That's kind of weird. So I, I and I think and I think you can find some other patterns in here too. Um, mm-hmm. For instance, I know it's a lot of Sega stuff. And you're right yeah. about the arcade. Also, yeah, you notice lots of arcade games. stuff that's in here, like the Rainbow Six Vegas and the Gears of War, are things that have already been included in other packs. Fallout Three yeah. comes with the Xbox 360. Uh, I'm sorry, with the Xbox all, One and Fallout all the Four Rainbow right now. Games. The what? All the Banjo Kazooie games, which are available in the Rare Replay. Right, right. It's, 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 wait, this is all just rare games, basically, right? Yeah. <laughs> so stuff like that. I mean, it, it's gonna take a while, and if you if you boil this down, you're probably gonna find like looking through here. I only notice about three or four different game studios involved mm-hmm. here. Like the yeah. so so I think. Again, they have to go through the process. It's going to take yeah. them a while. It's not like they push a button and this happens. And, and I think they're holding out because I think a lot of them want to re- release uh, high def versions of their game on the console and charge right. money for them. Right. Or they're waiting for uh, something like a Fallout release where you can pair mm-hmm. the last Fallout with it, or the Gears yeah. of War one. Like, like not not necessarily because the Gears of War, are, are, Gears of War isn't like did they redo? The original. They, re- they redid the first one. They redid the first but one. They said this two, three, and Judgment are are going. They they announced them as backwards compatible. Backwards compatible along yeah. with that. Along with along with the first one, which is also backwards compatible. But they also did the digital re-release for that. So, yeah, explain that one. Um, no, no, no I, I think I, there's something to this. There, there's you know, I, I think. Uh, it, it, it's going to take a while for them to get to a certain point. Well, remember, we were supposed to have backwards compatibility to Xbox Xbox games on the 360 that they they started to roll out, and it was kind of a similar patch system sort of thing, except yeah. they're using this uh, uh, very based on the... Because you actually... Like, if I put a Gears of War 1 disc in, it's actually going to download it instead of bring it off mm-hmm. the disc, right? Um, yeah. So they're using that digital distribution as a different thing versus they would download a patch to make my Xbox game work. And we bought this one Xbox game that we really loved um, and we never really were able to play it after my brother moved away with his Xbox uh, because they they just never opened up compatibility with it. Uh, mm-hmm. So I think it was Whiplash was the name of it. It was this cool mm-hmm. game with this like, psychotic bunny and a weasel and, and it was it was, it was was a lot of fun. Um, but, but again... I'm surprised really they haven't... Play. I'm surprised they haven't really released any Xbox One classics like PlayStation does with their PS1 and PS2 games. Because mm-hmm. not a lot of people uh, bought the Xbox and considered yeah, a true, classic right, other than your Halo collection. That right? is true. So, and, and Fable they released. The Fable, yeah. Release no, yeah, we hit all the hits already. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. We're done. We're moving on. 
this is the All real right. Xbox One. All right, the big news. I, I was like floored about this. You guys know how excited I was for Overwatch, and, and, and was very ba- very mad that it was only PC exclusive. And 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 this week, Blizzard came through and they announced that it's coming to consoles. I was announced officially at BlizzCon, BlizzCon this weekend that Overwatch is no longer a PC exclusive and will be coming to consoles in a special Origins edition of the game. Uh, the PC will get the option to buy the base game with all 21 heroes and maps only for $40. Uh, but they can also snag the Origins edition of the game for $60 along with PS4 and Xbox One gamers. Uh, the, Origin, or the, the, the Origins edition comes with five Origin uh, skins for Soldier 76, Tracer, Reaper, Widowmaker, and Para, and Bastion, along with profile picks in StarCraft, cardbacks in Hearthstone, uh, a Winston pet in World of Warcraft, and a special Tracer playable character in Heroes of the Storm. Um, now, you guys know how excited I was for Overwatch. Are you guys excited for this news, or don't really care? Or I'm just, I was, I almost cried. Oh, I'll see. I'll, <laughs> when, it, when it comes out, I'll see how it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll, I'll judge for myself how it looks, and I'll go for it. I mean, I, that, that's how I look at every uh, original IP. It looks like, so much fun. Uh, Vacation Chachi only recently got a current-gen system, mm-hmm. um, so I wasn't really excited about any games coming out for the current gen. Uh, <laughs> so I need to reevaluate my you thoughts mean, on a lot of games coming out. <laughs> you mean Vacation Chachi? Vacation Chachi. Do it this week. Yeah. You got a lot of time. Nope. Well, I mean, regular Chachi needs to do the thinking. Yeah, vacation yeah. Chachi right. just isn't. Like, vacation is like, whatever. Yeah, vacation. <laughs> sure, just give me the game. Uh. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Wicket's probably excited for it. It's our favorite portion of the show, Sorg, when we get to talk about Slice on Broadway. Uh, that's right. Nobody else can hear Wicked because I actually muted it and, oh, did, and that was it. <laughs> so you got to remember that that's the thing that we have. So please ignore anything weird over well, here in the studio, guys. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Slice on Broadway, it's here. And for uh, we have uh, some in-studio guests here lining up already for our Wrestling Mayhem show here shortly. Go check that out. But check them out there, SliceOnBroadway.com. They're in the beach view down on the tracks here. And uh, you can check them out. And please, um, and please... Uh, you know, uh, uh, say hi to them and let them know you heard about them on Boss Battle PGH underscore uh, Slice on the Twitter. I know what you guys are talking and about. And check out Slice on Broadway on Facebook and Instagram so you can get hungry too. So let's take a look at last week on Sogatron Media and we'll be right back. Do you remember when we were kids and we would ride our bikes on the sidewalk? I didn't have sidewalks when I grew up. Remember? remember, I, remember, remember, remember Sork, Sork I didn't have, have anything when I didn't have PBS. No, this yeah, is, just, roads. This is just between me and Chilla now. No oh, Mr. God, Rogers, no Canadian Lego. Mr. Rogers. No. Did you have Legos? Hey man, my Duplo game was on point on that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's got a light bulb in it. Hot. Damn, that takes me back. Oh, that takes me back. Hillary Rodham Clinton's uh, presidential race. And um, you can just put different heads on that that same uh, form body. Um, and I would like to point out that uh, the devil is one of them. So I also didn't think they were going to use as many light tubes as they did. I just had like, you know, lawyers like looking at me the entire time. I'm like, oh, it'll be fine. Everything's cool. You know, a bunch of people came back to the to the control world. Um, some some investors in the show and executives and they were like, that was amazing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're just going to explain concepts in our childhood that we experienced. And just explain it to him and our perceptions of that. Just like, let's just explain to the youngin. And you're like, what, like 12 years younger than me or something like that? Sorg, that, that actually could be a really good podcast. We shared it a lot this week, but we couldn't have done it without all of you. So I just want to say thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. All right, now let's get to our final battles question this week. Um, Activision Blizzard announced that at BlizzCon, they're going into the movie and television business. A new arm of the company will focus on movie and TV projects for its various games, starting with an animated Skylanders television show. It's called, it's called Skylanders Academy. 
uh, which will be run by Eric Rogers from Futurama. That that's good. And yeah. feature voice talents from Justin Long, Ashley Tisdale, and Norm Macdonald, uh, the KFC guy, um, among others. Activision also stated they were planning a Call of Duty cinematic world, which will likely hit screens in 2018 or 19, and possibly some television projects as well. And that's what I was talking about earlier, Chachi, uh, about maybe Call of Duty. Maybe that's why they they do have a better storyline for the game. Uh, and you you said you had something that you wanted to share with that. Uh, yeah, the star-studded cast um, of people that are uh, in in the Call of Duty game. Um, so I was sitting there uh, during my brief stint, brief stint of playing uh, the story mode, and I looked up and I'm like, I recognize that guy. That's <laughs> Elliot Stabler. Um, and, and so I, I immediately paused the game and went to IMDb, and it was in fact Christopher Maloney. Oh, yeah. And so I continued reading the IMDb page to find out that it had uh, such people as, uh, let's see, Jeff Goldblum. Heather That's Graham, nice. um, Neil McDonough, uh, Christopher yeah, Maloney. McDonald? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, Neil <laughs> McDonough. He was the uh, the bad guy in one of those rock movies. Um, okay. Nolan North. Oh, come on. Uh, Ron Perlman's in it. Oh, wow. Katie Sackhoff and more. Wow. So, uh, I mean, it's uh, – and again, this begs the question, is there anything Noel North hasn't done? No. Or Norm yeah. MacDonald at this point. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, going back to, to the Activision Blizzard news, um, Nick Van Dyke, no, no relation to yeah. Nick Van Dyke, uh, a former senior executive at the Walt Disney Company, uh, will head the studio. And the studio also has anticipated – or the highly anticipated Warcraft movie in development at Legendary Pictures. Um, and it's, expect, it's expected to make uh, television projects based on other Blizzard properties as well. Um, this goes with the announcement that Activision Blizzard also created a separate division for their esports uh, company, and they're going to focus on esporting events. Um, also announced, not from Blizzard or Activision, was uh, they're making a Witcher movie, and also an Assassin's Creed movie is being made now at the same time as well. Oh, um, so. Effect. And Mass Effect. So the final round question is, have video game movies learned from the mistakes of the past year? Um, do you think they can be good, or do you think it isn't a good idea for video game movies to be made, considering the track record of all the horrible video game movies in the past? Like, what, what's what one company that had a movie based off a of video game? Uh, Mario Brothers? <laughs> Nintendo? I mean, I mean like, <laughs> recently. Oh, recently? Hitman. Hitman? Which, those movies did okay. Okay. They did okay. I mean, they didn't really uh, set the box off on fire. But honestly, the, the jury is still out until the big names come out. Like yeah. The Call of Duty game would be big. The first Warcraft, the, the first one is definitely Warcraft the and it's Assassin's Creed. The Warcraft is going to be big. Assassin's yeah. Creed is going to be big. Yeah. Mass Effect is going to be big. They're going to reach those audiences. Mm -hmm. and, and that's that, what the telltale sign is going to be. Because people are going to go in there hoping for it to be good, and they, they're going to be the diehard fans of the company. Oh, and, and, and Pix plus, plus Pixels. now, like, mm -hmm. well, yeah, Pixels too. Um, that that really wasn't really based on a video game. Though. Yeah, that's what I mean. It was like <laughs> totally based on. A it video. was. It was not a video game movie. It had video um. game themes. Okay, uh, just to just to kind of like what's recent movies. I pulled up a list. Uh, we mm -hmm. did some Resident Evils in 2012 and 2010. Silent Hill in 2012. Resident Evil yeah, Need for the Speed. Evil. Need for Speed in 2014. Oh, Need for Speed stuff. Hitman and uh, Hitman this year. Ratchet and Clank mm -hmm. is coming up. Angry Birds movie yeah. coming mm -hmm. up. Warcraft yeah. coming up. Yeah. And Assassin's Creed in December 2016. Okay. Oh wait, Resident Evil: The Final Chapter in 2017. Oh no! Finally. Not Anyways. the final chapter. Again. But the first Resident Evil movie was really good, though. I, I will say that. Mm -hmm. like, what do you mean, Need for Speed stunk? It got a 22% on Rotten Tomatoes. That, oh, oh that's, I'm sorry. That's I'm great, sorry. Chet. Yeah, that, that's, that's perfect. Oh. Now you kind of need to see what the lowest rating on Rotten Tomatoes is. <laughs> Probably the Super Mario Bros. movie. Oh, boy. <laughs> With a whopping 1%. Um, but no, what I was what I was getting at what yeah, what I was getting at 
Um, now that they have these bigger games with these gigantic stories, they have something to pull from. Like, I can see why they kind of messed up Super Mario Brothers because Mario Brothers doesn't have that big of a, you know, like a, a huge story. I mean, it, it's Mario Rescues Princess. That's about yeah, it. But, but it, they didn't... No, 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 they didn't they pull didn't, even from that, though. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't even pull from <laughs> they, that. They didn't even pull and, from and we're getting into some movie stuff here, yeah. but... The, the, the core audience wants their material mm-hmm. in the game, Just in, look, in the movie. Look at Gem and the Holograms as oh, an example. God. Oh, no. Um, no. <laughs> no. No. I'm not. just saying, I'm just saying, like, people really wanted a Gem and the Holograms movie that were, like, big sh- fans of the show, like the cartoon back in the day. They did not take anything from the – other than the name and maybe okay. pink hair. First off, first off, I, I, I need to call a timeout. Okay. Because yeah. apparently – the number of low-ranked movies on Rotten Tomatoes is huge. Yeah. Um, well, there's tons of terrible movies yeah. out there. You know, it's, the, it's a really big list of 0% movies. Oh, Secondly, wow. Riz. Yes. Did you see Gem in the Holograms? <laughs> <laughs> he got me on that one. This is, a tr- this is a trick question. Riz. Yes. Did you see Gem in the Holograms? Hell no. Okay. Gem in the Holograms what? Just pulled what out of the theater. Is this you know about reviewing a movie you haven't seen? But um, Gem and the Holograms, after two weeks in the theater, was just pulled out of theaters abruptly exactly. this week. It doesn't matter. Riz, Riz has not seen the yeah, movie. Riz hasn't therefore, seen it. He cannot make a judgment about I movies. agree with that. I, I, can't, with I that. can't wait to have okay. a sit down with Riz and watch Gem and the Holograms. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I taught him a lesson. Don't be like that. Uh, Riz was a giant Gem and the Hologram fans. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, guys, uh, any anything else to add? Lunchbox, do you have anything to add to this movie discussion? Uh, I, I will watch anything, anything with Michael Fassbender in it. Okay. <laughs> Assassin's Creed? Okay. I will watch Assassin's Creed. I watched uh, Livewire, that Gina Carano movie, because Michael Fassbender was in it. And I got to tell yeah, you, I regret it. No, no. <laughs> oh, no. Well, no, I, I, and I think uh, – I, I also think this is um, – so – Warcraft, if, you, if you're a longtime Blizzard fan, you know Warcraft cinematics have been astounding yeah. for years. Yeah. They released a DVD of just the cinematics. Ever since like Warcraft 3, I've been 100% on board with them and just want to watch those things. And I'm surprised, and I'm really surprised, honestly, I watched that trailer to the Warcraft movie, and it doesn't look as good as the CG in their games from Warcraft 3. And uh, They should have just let the... the blizzard team animate the whole thing right, yeah, that, that's, right, why a bit. that's partially why they're starting this in-house studio because they said they're probably going to make uh, a, a overwatch show or movie with those characters that they just they did they just did and they said overwatch is actually going to have a lot of cinematics in the game even though it's like an online only game pretty much um they they, they showed some of the things uh I, I don't know if you saw the the gif of the the winston with the little jar of peanut butter that Riz shared, um, like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They're going to tell the backstory of these characters through cinematics and stuff like that in their in-house studio. So it's going to be it's going to be amazing. So, all right, that is going to do it for us this week. Uh, oh, you oh, can follow us on Twitter. Oh, can, I, can I, Bobby? I want to update a uh, earlier thread. Okay. Uh, uh, Riz, do you have Comcast? I do oh. not. You do not have Comcast. No. Oh, never mind. Because if you then we'll have to go to Chachi's I have, house. I have Comcast. Then we'll have to go to Chachi's place because uh, Gem and the Holograms is on Xfinity right now. What? So... Yes. Already yeah. that in itself is no, true. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the original. No, I'm talking about the original oh, 1985 uh, series. Oh, okay. Well, that's, still, that's, that's fine. Really that's fine. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to work truly outrageous into that. I have watched that. All right, that's going to do it for us this week. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. So we're going to plugs this week. Uh, Sawtooth Willie is the yeah. thing that happens. Go check that out. PanelRiot.com, <laughs> SorgatronMedia.com, <laughs> and everything in Sorgatron.com as well. Nothing really video game related out of that.
All right. <laughs> Uh, Chachi, anything to plug this week, Vacation Chachi? My vacation Chachi's on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to plug? No. <laughs> you, can you, your, to plug this week. you can follow Vacation Chachi over on uh, Twitter's at Chachi Fizz. You should just start on this thing, this thing is Vacation Chachi. Vacation Chachi for the week. Yep. All right. Riz, anything Chachi. to plug? Uh, go to Riz Plays Games right now. I just downloaded or uploaded my first uh Riz plays Minecraft story mode, uh, which I did while playing with the extra lifers, Bobby and yeah, Sword. You'll be able to hear us. You'll be able to hear Riz talking to us. Yeah. I, I, what was the one phrase you made me say? I don't remember. I don't, was even, it, I don't even remember I don't either. Know. By the way, did you guys like my note I left you guys? Yes. I did. Very nice. Very nice. nice. Did you guys <laughs> right. say it out loud on the air? No, because we I don't think we saw the, the oh, note until much yeah. later. No. no, I think we might have. <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. remember. It was I was it in was a haze. A blur. It was it a was strange a, yeah. blur. Um uh, Lunchbox, thanks for joining us this week. Do you have any plugs? Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, go uh, go to panelriot.com. Uh, currently our episode is up interviewing Zeke, the creator of Soul Sworn, and we the are plumber? working. What? The plumber. I don't know Zeke. <laughs> Sleep sleep your shorts. I didn't watch the Loot Your Shorts. Okay. I'm sorry. Wow. I'm sorry. As but well. we're working. We're working hard on episode 50, and uh, that's going to be a big one. So uh, keep an eye out for that at panelriot.com. All right, and I am at Bobby F J Tom on Twitter. Uh, you, I'm going to be starting my uh, Twitch stream. Uh, I have a couple of the videos are up from this weekend's Gameathon. If you want to go back and watch uh, terrible gameplay at four in the morning. <laughs> and possibly hear my dad scare the crap out of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's going to do it for us. Game over, everybody. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.